the 7th of June 2023, the BNI Captain Meeting sets sail, bringing together captains of their industries, entrepreneurs, and visionaries. The atmosphere was electric as the BNI Captain took the helm, ready to steer the ship towards endless possibilities. was not only a gathering of like-minded individuals but also a platform for learning and growth with every change comes hope and as we complete our term we can see a positive change happened in a big way the passion and the energy that the business owners have the, the way they structure the meetings they organize how they promote their businesses uh, each other the referrals I, I thought, okay, this is the right opportunity where Bahrain as a small country, uh, I need to take a, 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 a good decision of joining BNI. Then it was a fantastic journey. Uh, I'm the second person uh, who joined a BNI captain. Leaders are defined by the ability to empower others. The outgoing LT team recognized the potential within each member and dedicated themselves to unlock it. So we are businessmen. We want to talk business. So getting a platform where we are talking business, we are meeting with business people, nothing more than that. So that's what BNI to me is. And uh, yeah. the more the reference, the more the business. I think Dr. Ivan Meissner, I've had that vision and he said it's a giver's game. So you give and you get more. And that's what we practice. And, uh, you know, as Amit Bhai said, um, we have the whole full team of uh, BNI captain behind us. And we want them to uh, walk and run with us. Uh, we want them to be with us uh, locally, uh, regionally and globally and grow together. So that's that's the, the whole dream and then I think uh, that's uh, that's a completely possible one and we leadership team are on it. A journey without celebration is incomplete. The outgoing LT team took every opportunity to acknowledge and celebrate the achievements of our members. A strong network is the backbone of any successful organization. Highlighting some of the unique events planned such as Procurement Day, Bari National Day, Women's Day and so many more. With pride and admiration, we acknowledge the collective efforts that have led to the astounding accomplishment of 6 million in business generated by BNI members. On March 6, BNI Captain proudly celebrated International Women's Day. We gathered to honor the remarkable women who continue to make a difference in our world. The resilience, strength and achievement inspire us all. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the remarkable tenure of the BNI outgoing leadership team. Good evening, BNI. A very warm welcome to all our visitors today to the 
45th chapter meeting of BNI captain, which is BNI means stands for not business, not Bahrain National Insurance, but <laughs> Business Network International, which is uh, which was established in 1985, just 40 years ago, and we are now celebrating one year of BNI in Bahrain with 320,000. <laughs> so with 320,000 members all across the globe and in 78 countries. Isn't that amazing? Yes. So today we are celebrating World HR Day. So what a, what a coincidence that, you know, BNI as an organization is actually a human resource organization. It's an organization where all, all the, the raw material is, is human being, the product is also human being, we all meet together and pass business referrals to each other. So you know, on this particular day, there is no better way to celebrate this 80th HR professionals and entrepreneurs in this room. So dear ladies and gentlemen, I would like to start the meeting by introducing the leadership team of BNI captain. But before that I do, I would request you all to keep your mobile phones in silent mode. My name is Arun. I'm the national director. I'm actually proxy, giving proxy to uh, Dr. Zara Marid, who is the chapter president. She couldn't make it today. And she was supposed to chair the meeting, and I'm actually chairing on her behalf. So the president's role for BNI, any captain uh, chapter meeting, is to chair the weekly meetings, ensuring that all follow the restructured agenda by BNI that is proven to maximize the business past in any BNI chapter across the world. I'm now going to introduce our power team coordinators for BNI captain. Kindly request you all to stand when your names are called. On my left, oh sorry, uh, so we have Amit Jaiswal who is the business growth local. We have Narayanan Ganpati, who is the Business Growth International. We have the edu Education Coordinator, Tosin Arajalu. We have our Engagement Coordinator, uh, Megha Nair. P Prince Ravi is not able to make it today. Our Mentor Coordinator, Manoj Kesavan. Our One-to-One -one Coordinator, Yogesh Patil. Our Training Coordinator, Sajin Henry. Our events coordinator, I guess he, she has not been able to make it. Uh, BNI Connect, uh, Shaji. Our Go Green coordinator, Keta Shah. Our attendance coordinator, Faisal Rahman and Nadia Zukili. Our chapter growth coordinator, Shantosh Balakrishnan. Our application review coordinator, Tar I believe Tariq also has not been able to make it. Uh, we have our feature presentation coordinator, Hitesh Rathor and Anish Das Roy. Our given us coordinator, Vaishak Shaji. Again, our time coordinator, Tosin Arajulu. Our membership committee consists of Taranjit Singh, Krupa Vishal, Faisal Choudhury, Maria Pereira, and Akhil Ganesh. Our lead visitor host, whom you have probably seen her while at the entry, uh, she is Zara Rahim. <laughs> Our visitor host team under Zara Rahim is Yogesh Patil, Prince Ravi, Anjali Shah, and Jacob Thomas. <laughs> I would like to introduce our vice president, who is sitting on my left, Chanaka Ranavira. Good evening, dear friends, referral partners, and uh, warmly welcome you all to the event today. It's going to be a educational fun fact event. It's line up many programs to you to educate with regard to HR uh, functions. Well, my name is Chanakaranavira, Vice President of BNI Captain. Vice President's responsibilities are namely the tracking the performance of the chapter in terms of business past between our members. Like any good business, 
set goals, monitor our progress towards the achieving those goals. Chairing the membership committee, dealing with new member applications, including following up references, dealing with any conflicts of interest, administrating the policies and procedures of BNI chapter, and most importantly, planning of future growth of the chapter. Thank you very much. Over to you, Mr. President. And on my right now, I would like to introduce our Secretary Treasurer, Clayton De Silva. Thank you, Arun. It's lovely to see such a large number of guests turned up for HR Day. I hope this evening is going to be interesting for all our members attended uh, this evening. Uh, so I'm, my name is Clayton. I am the Secretary Treasurer for BNI Captain. Uh, my responsibilities are maintains the chapter bank account and uh, collects the monthly dues and pays the bills, uh, keeps our financial records and reports to the leadership team on the bank account, coordinates the speaker schedules uh, and emails the members in advance of the speaking date and uh, inputs the speaker schedule into Google Calendar. Over to you, President. Thanks, Clayton. So uh, now I have to introduce myself, actually. Uh, it is the role of the National Director. So uh, my name is Arunodai Ganguly once again and I'm the National Director of BNI Bahrain. I, did the, uh, I took the courage of bringing BNI two years back in Bahrain. And, uh, uh, and I, I must have to thank BNI uh, for actually, uh, actually encouraging me to take this lead. And I would also like to thank uh, for all the supports that I've got from the people in Bahrain. Uh, which led to this day, and you can see so many people, all the entrepreneurs sitting in one room. So uh, as a norm, uh, we have to talk about a little bit about the BNI structure and what the BNI core values are. So BNI's mission is to help members increase their business through a structured, positive, and professional word of mouth program that enables them to develop long-term meaningful relationship with quality business professionals. What you see over here, is a gathering of quality business professionals. And what you will do is to network. And through this networking, you will be passing referrals to each other. And that would be with the word of mouth referrals. The, the person behind this formation of BNI is Dr. Ivan Meissner. Uh, everybody can Google and find about him. He actually, uh, 40 years back, in 1985, he actually had a gathering of 12 members, who had, uh, I mean, 12 of his friends who started with a small networking uh, group and wanted to give referrals to each other, what, they, what he did was, he said that all these 12 members should not compete with each other. So that means all the 12 members should be distinct. And because of that, they had no, no competition amongst e e each other. And then they freely passed referrals between each other, right? So with, but the concept behind that, the philosophy behind that was giver's gain. The first thing that they, introduced is that people should come with a motive of giving business to another person. So, he, so the, the famous saying that, it, that what, you know, the more you give, the more you get. Right? So with that philosophy, started this, uh, uh, you know, the BNI, and then slowly it picked up from US to Canada to UK, and then uh, to 78 countries that, uh, you know, that we see today. So. There are seven core values of BNI. So these are the seven core values. The giver's gain, which is one of the most important core values and which actually uh, uh, enticed me to bring BNI to Bahrain. And secondly, which, uh, which made me feel important is uh, building relationships. When you see in this room, you will you'll have probably met with a lot of people whom you are meeting second time or third time or fourth time. Just imagine in a room full of uh, entrepreneurs, when you meet them every week, at least once, right? So you build a relationship with them, and the trust that you build would encourage you to refer business to each other. You build a lifelong learning through this BNI platforms. We are all entrepreneurs over here. Probably we may not be going to uh, training centers every week. I was speaking to someone uh, whom uh, I know dearly who has come from BIBF. I know during my uh, the, during my uh, you know service days, we were we were compelled to go at least once a year to BIBF for some kind of training. But how many of we over here as an entrepreneur 
get the chance of going for a training. But in this kind of an environment, you are compelled to do uh, training over here. BNI University has got uh, loads of thousands and thousands of materials, training materials, which are completely given free for the members. And you can do uh, these trainings. This training will, you know, you, you, the more you train, the more you are equipped to, uh, you know, uh, face today's challenges. You have traditions and innovations. BNI has a BNI Connect app which is connected with the global members. In one click of a button, I can now speak to someone in Mexico or in Japan or in any part of the world in all the 78 countries. So it's, it's traditions plus innovations. You have positive attitude. You can see the positive vibes in this room itself. Just imagine the kind of positive attitude that we have when we have these global conventions and the national conventions in, in all these big countries. We have accountability. BNI also brings in accountability because you can do business with any BNI uh, members across the globe, keeping in mind that they are also part of another trusted organization or another trusted uh, entity or a chapter where you can probably do business safely. And BNI, what it does is that BNI recognizes talents and BNI recognizes the, the effort that members are putting in. So with these core values, I would like to start today's event. And thank you again for all coming, taking the pain of coming over here. And I, I, I would sincerely uh, request all of you to take back this idea of BNI and spread it amongst uh, people. It is, Bahrain is 1.7 million people. It is not possible. BNI is not a structure with, you won't see them in BNI hoardings because, uh, because we don't have those policies of putting it on hoardings and advertisements. We want word of mouth. You experience what BNI is today. You go back and talk to people about BNI and make this Bahrain a part of these 78 countries and let Bahrain flourish with all the businesses that we are trying to bring in. We have today two business people, BNI, he will be talking about here, coming all the way from BNI Mumbai. Why, why did he all come over here? Because they wanted to collaborate with Bahrain business people. And they have come over here and they, are, they want to do business. So we have to, we can also, if you want to go to Japan and do business, you have to just name the country and the BNI will open doors for you anywhere in the world. So with that, uh, I would request uh, uh, our vice to start the, uh, today's event. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I think we are moving to uh, elevator pitch. To do the elevator pitch, we have immediate past president of BNI captain, Mr. Amit Jaiswal. I'm sure he has a surprise today. So please give a round of applause to Amit to conduct the elevator pitch. Hello. Good evening. How many of you actually understood what is BNI, what Arun said. <laughs> what Arun? Okay. <laughs> we are 55 businessmen, CEOs and partners sitting here in this room and each one is having a separate identity, separate company. Nobody is competing with each other. And we give business to each other. And I will prove it by the end of this uh, elevator pitch. That actually what we are doing. The best part about it is that if I give a business to any of the other partners, CEO, I don't have to pay commission. I just refer him. But what in return happens that when he has a certain type of job which belongs to me, he brings the job to me. So basically, we are 55 owners workings as salesmen for each other and there can be no other salesman better than the owner of a company and we have been trained about each other so anybody if they will talk to me about any of my members i can give his elevator pitch here i can give the elevator pitch of each and every guy in this room i will not do that but i will <laughs> so that's what we are being trained for this is bni so the topic for today is collaboration and co-creation. Uh, now to start any new business in Bahrain, 
you require a certain amount of things right from start to finish and everything is available in this room everything is available in the bni chapter where we are sitting every week so i will request and the person who is uh, having that portfolio can uh, stand and give us a little bit of pitch i need the mics to be transferred please mics excuse me mics to be given so to start a new business the first thing that we want is somebody to do business counseling and to tell us about the tax the rules and how that we can start a business a new business which no we know do you do i have anybody in this room good afternoon good afternoon, good afternoon. Yeah, so, yeah we need some energy in this room <laughs> yeah thanks amit yeah uh, i always say the business is like a newborn baby right when you start the business first of all you need to know whether we are doing this as a right business or wrong business if this business is suitable you need the business plan you need first of all the feasibility study for the business you need to see source of fund from where you will get the fund and you need to also ensure the compliance requirement that is the tax requirements and everything the reason because at the end of the day after putting all these efforts how much i am going to take at home that's very 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 important and that's the business for money so thank you amit i am from grand thornton senior partner and we do provide that service so now we have we have a business counselor who has uh, done the business counseling we need somebody from company formation yeah of course uh, jatin ji uh, advised on how to do business how to do the pre formation work but i can actually help you set up the company my name is yogesh patel i represent boston brooks advisory services i can do all kind of company formations in bahrain not just in bahrain entire gcc thank you very much yogesh you said boston brooks right yeah. boston brooks what formation but i have a company called Bro boston brooks information i have it so when they're googling it they're not going to you they're coming to me <laughs> can anybody help uh, can anybody help me in saving my company's name ali bagutra so yeah yeah please yes we can uh, it's very common that uh, most of the people start the business as one of my fellow friends said that uh, he can guide you consult you about the business how to start the business the other one said he can help you to form the business but i am the one who can help you to secure the business my name is ali i work for united trademark we register trademarks not only in bahrain but all over the world which secure your name your creation and it will not be taken by anyone else thank you so much thank you so we need to go to the next step we have saved the name of the company and now we need to start recruiting can i have somebody from the hr services thank you uh, my, <clears throat> my name is anish i represent millennial hr we are into executive search and recruiting so if if you need any uh, executive search or any senior management hiring definitely can help you thank you so now the recruitment is completed but i need to have some financial advice counseling financial management can i have somebody good afternoon everyone this is ca keita shah from apmh consultancy services ca for looks at your business as a reflection of your business performance beyond compliance and taxation do you think that you want someone to tell your business is really making sense or is it, or it is really going into the right direction we are here as a financial advisory category do consult us uh, consult us for any type of advisory services thank you thank you keta so with all the suggestions i made a company and even i got a project but i don't have money can anybody help me in crowdfunding so amit basically there are various ways you can raise money right you can put your own money or get money from friends and family 
or go knock on the doors of angel investors or maybe go to a venture capital firm but imagine if you were to raise money for the, from the entire crowd through our platform every single person who has invested in your company becomes your partner and he wants you to succeed and that's exactly what we do i am narayan running bambucon a crowdfunding platform regulated by the central bank of bahrain thank you now i have money somebody needs to manage the money so do i have an accounting company good evening bni good evening good evening all uh, referral partners and uh, distinguished guests <clears throat> my name is akil ganesh i am from uh, silver star advisory uh, proper accounting help you keep your house in order which directly helps the business to perform well and grow exponentially for any accounting solutions to solve any complex situations we are there to support you please let us know thank you very much see accounting is something which is required for big companies but there are small smes which require bookkeeping do i have anybody for bookkeeping uh, good morning bni members and uh, guests my name is vardarajan from athe services so to keep your all all uh, to keep all your bookkeeping i can help you with thank you thank you vardarajan sir now uh, audit is one of the most important thing that we need to take care of nowadays especially with nbr so anybody can help me with an audit audit <laughs> auditor is busy with something hi good evening uh, this is mekha nair uh, from usp chartered accountant so we are an audit firm here in bahrain uh, we have uh, our branches in gcc and uh, in india as well so now it's a time that you know you need to find your auditor you know you'll have your cr to be renewed and things like that so for any financial services especially with regards to audit i'm here to help thank you very much thank you so do you feel any collaboration going on or any creation going on in this room yes you are feeling it yeah. so basically i have a business counseling i uh, recruited a uh, means i had a hr guy who recruited people for me accounting people are here funding is arranged but how the people will come to bahrain so i need visa and travel is there anybody from uh, travel agency hello yeah i am from bahrain international travel i am representing mr cd singh okay we are uh, established in 1969 in bahrain and uh, we make all type of uh, trips i mean arrangement including in, in inbound services outbound services and so we can arrange all your travel stress free travel everything thank you thank you very much so my staff has reached bahrain but i have a problem they don't talk they don't behave they are not collaborating i need somebody to train my staff do i have anybody I think I can help you with that Amit. Did you know that you could increase your prof profits by 30% just by improving your communication? Hi everyone. My name is Tosin Arojolu. I'm the CEO of Leadership Excel Consultancy and I help professionals improve their leadership and communication skills. Thank you. So my company Kola uh collaboration and co-creation is formed so it is ready but i'm not getting business i am not visible so do i have a company which can make a website for me an app and can give me an hr software good evening amit sir yes cisco technologies can help you to achieve your goal every company requires a digital presence we cisco technologies can develop your website create a mobile app and of course today on hr day on in bni we are happy to give you an hr demo to all the hr officials we have a an award winning product which is great hr which is a saas based hr software which can help you all your required 
Thank you. Thank you, Amit. For my website, I need photographs. Can anybody help me? Anytime. Yes, thank you. My name is Svetlana Prodanova. We do all kind of uh, photography, uh, covering of events, personal, private parties, and anything you can think of uh, with photography and videography, of course, which comes with it. Thank you very much for all the visitors and for attending this wonderful event here. Thank you. To make up. Hello. Volume, volume. Hello. To make a big company, as the company grows, we require proper ERP softwares and blockchain softwares. Do anybody here? Hi, good evening all, dear members and visitors. Myself, Vaishak Shaji, representing RapidCube Data Solution, specialized in blockchain, AI, and IoT solution. We are a digital native company. Currently, we are working with major manufacturing companies over here in Bahrain. And to secure your data and everything, like we are here to help you. Thank you. Every company requires marketing. Do we have a marketing and events company here? Marketing and events, uh, Mr. Jude. Anybody from? Hi, my name is Manoj. I'm representing Clockwork. And uh, we are the producers of Jazzfest, as you know, the biggest jazz event in Berlin. And we do other events as well. Just now, we have completed the Red Bull 4 to score event. And um, we believe in quality or anything. So that's it from Clockwork. Thank you. So my marketing is going good. But still I need some more web presence, like some companies which can promote my company on social media. Is there a company here? Jo dikta hai, wo bikta hai. Hello everyone, my name is Maria and I represent ShopSpot. At ShopSpot, we understand that every business is unique, and that is why we take a personalized approach to digital marketing, from SEOs to social media management to paid advertising and so much more. So if anyone is interested, please do let me know. Thank you. Actually, the most important thing after doing everything is securing your premises, securing your employees, securing your projects, your indemnity, so I need an insurance. You said right, Amit. You are exposed to many things. You have invested, you brand secured, you have done everything, but you don't know what you will face any unforeseen eventuality in future. So that is what we do. We cover your property, we can cover your staff, we can provide other financial solutions as well in terms of securing whatever you invested in your business. My name is Chanaka Ranavira from Solidarity Insurance. And for your insurance needs, please remember the name. Over to you. Thank you, Chanaka. I have not introduced myself. I am just doing a collaboration and co-creation here. So I made my company. Yes, what I do? Myself, Amit Jaiswal from Watercolor Interiors. We do commercial interior fit out, like offices, showrooms, mall, anything in commercial. And now we are present in five countries. Bahrain, Dubai, Qatar, uh, Oman, and Saudi. Thank you. So, now I'm starting a project. In a project, I have got some requirements that needs to be fulfilled. So the first thing that we start a project, we need to have a proper signboard. Do I have a signage company? Yes. <laughs> Hi, good morning everyone, uh, all around the world. BNI always says good morning because BNI is present in 77 countries. So as Mr. Amit wanted, I'm your signage partner because I make you visible. How do I make visible? I make your brand visible because we make quality signboards. Uh, Arabian Neon is in Bahrain for the past 35 years. So again, again for visibility, for your quality, we are here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Manoj. Uh, we need a lot of graphics nowadays that needs to be printed, uh, especially for showrooms and even in projects. Do I have anybody? Yes. Thanks, Amit, uh, for contacting us. We design track prints 
always have a full-fledged uh, production team which caters to any businesses in Bahrain. We have a complete uh, digital production team which can do all types of your branding activities. We have all types of printing facilities available from the old uh, solvent-based print to the UV printing, acrylic printing. You give us, we can do whatever. You, here also you can see the fabric for the BNI, the backdrop, the banners, all is uh, design track productions. Thank you, Amit. Thank you, Subin. We need to bring products from outside Bahrain, move them uh, to the correct locations across the world. Do I have anybody from logistics? Good evening, everybody. Thanks, Amit, for the introduction. My name is Clayton. I represent Aqua Global Logistics. We are a shipping company. We are a proud BNI partner in Dubai, Oman, Qatar. We handle relocations, warehousing, distributions, and all type of freight-related uh, shipments. I am an exclusive partner in BNI Captain, and to my competition, it's difficult getting business over here. So, <laughs> if you want to approach any of your customers, so. Thank you, Clayton. I need some furniture for my workshop, uh, for the project. Do I have a furniture company here? I think Ashraf Kasim Bhai is selling more furniture than BNI. Okay, so I bought the furniture. I need AC work to be done. Anybody? 77? Okay. Uh, I need civil work to be done. Uh, good evening, referral partners. I'm Jennifer from Thakkar Construction. Thakkar Construction is a full service company. We are here to serve you uh, based on your all requirements. We are more into civil works and into demolition, excavation, earthworks, as well as solar panel fixing. And we do also provide the building materials. And we are here to serve you and to bring your vision into reality. Thank you. So my MEP work is done, my civil work is done, I need glass for the facade. Do I have anybody from the glass? I think I can help with that. Good evening BNI, my name is Ibrahim Shafiq from Shafiq Glass and Aluminium Industries. We do glass and aluminium solutions and facade, and we have been in this industry for more than two decades. We have multiple six and seven digits ongoing and completed projects, so I think I can definitely help with your glass solutions. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Uh, the most important thing now in projects is CCTV, ELV, data. Without that, we cannot move a single inch. Do I have anybody? Yeah, you got to have a better connectivity within your office. So uh, in terms of communications, you got to have a better, uh, I mean, you know, voice communication in the sense, you know, you got to have the telephone systems. And uh, uh, you got to have a better bandwidth for your video uh, I mean, you know, video meetings and all. So whenever you come across any kind of ICT requirements, do let me know. My name is Santosh Balagashan. I represent DNS Consultancy here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Santosh. Uh, I need some uniforms to be made for my staff so that they look staff, uh, so that they look handsome when they are there on site, more professional. Do I have a uniform company? So you do all the fancy stuff of setting up your company uh, and uh, you're doing the online marketing, social media and all of that. But the real business begins when customers walk into your store. So that's where we come in. We design and manufacture uniforms for you and your staff uh, that stand out in face of your customer. So I'm Faisal Rebwan representing Maxstar Uniforms for all of your uniform and your personal suiting requirements. I'm your guy. Thank you and have a good day. Thank you. We need to uh, shift our staff. We need transportation for uh, managers, staff. Do I have any rental companies here? Good afternoon, everyone. Flexible free solution for, uh, for your business. This is Doha Al Mutta Car Rental, which is based in Qatar and Bahrain. We can provide you vehicle rental solution into short term to mid term corporate and individuals. Myself, Lanka Udangabu, country operation head, Doha Al Mutta Car Rental, Bahrain branch. Thank you, Amit. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Lanka Sahib, your cars are breaking down too much. Do I have a car repair service? Good afternoon, BNI. Having a car is just like having 
a nagging girlfriend. I didn't use the word wife, but it's like having a nagging girlfriend. It's expensive, it costs money, and it costs attention. My name is Jacob Thomas. I'm the co-founder of a company called Autobay. What Talabat has done for the food services, I do the same for your car services. Next time, your girlfriend is nagging to repair your car, go to my app called Autobay, book a service, and my team will take care of it. Thank you, and have a good evening. Thank you, Mr. Jacob. But I don't want to rent a car. I don't want this country repairing. I'm thinking of buying a used car, a nice car. Maybe a Range Rover, second end will do, no problem. Do you have anybody who is selling used cars? Hi, this is Mithun, sales manager at Albanda Cars. So we are in this business of buying and selling for the last three decades, more than that. So if you or your friends or your staff is looking to buy or sell a car, do let us know. Thank you. Thank you. Business is a very stressful thing and I need to go to a hospital now and then. Anybody from the hospital industry? Good evening, everyone. Health is wealth. So how much also business you will be do doing, you will need your employees to be fit and fine, as well as you. So I am here, Charulta Joshi, from Kim's Health Hospital and Medical Centers. For any of your health requirements, please contact me. Thank you. I have money. I have everything, but I need to look more glamorous. Do I have a beauty, care, chirotherapy, something which can make me better? Hello, so I represent Alchem. We're an integrated medical center, so we combine traditional and alternative medicines. So we don't just focus on symptoms, we really get to the root of issues. So we're currently pioneering IV therapy, naturopathic medicine, uh, plant-based hormone uh, <clears throat> replacement therapy, and much more. So if you want to be healthy, you want your colleagues to be healthy, or your employees, then you can come to us. Thank you. Uh, we are sitting in meetings. I need to have nice teeth. It needs to look white and clean. Anybody from dental? Thank you, Amit. Uh, at our dental, we have um, our dentists who are qualified and uh, skilled who can enhance your smile. What is the point that you have everything and you don't have a beautiful smile? So we are here to enhance your smile. My name is Rita Jennifer, representing Dr. Zara Majid. Thank you. But uh, as I'm getting older, I can't see properly. Need to make some glasses. Any opticians? Hi. Yes, hello, good afternoon, everyone. This is Minakshi Rathor, representing Rathor Opticians. Uh, we are specializing in matching eyewear which not only enhances your vision, but suits your unique style, and uh, it's tailored precisely according to your need and comfort. And we have a team of uh, eight optometrists which are specialized in eye exams and with a wide variety of uh, fashionable frames and uh, huge um, lenses, uh, transition progressive and huge variety in lenses, we ensure you you leave with uh, eyewear, which not only it's perfect fit for you, but enhances your all personality. Look at Thank me, look you. at me, look at me. <laughs> yes, Tell them to yes, look at me. Of course, do visit us if you're facing the same. Thank you. So, uh, I have got some guests coming from abroad. I need a hotel partner for their stay, their food. Do I have a hotel partner here? Anybody from Golden Tulip? So today bill is free. <laughs> good. Very good. So now the company is set up. My projects are done. Everything is done. Need some celebrations. So I need some flowers, some cakes. So do I have a florist here? Good evening, everyone. So there's so much of hard work put into this from start to finish. But then, at end of all, it, it comes 
down to the presentation, the final presentation. You've got inaugurated guests, visitors coming in. You need that extra cherry on the cake, correct? That's what flowers are for. I am Zara Rahim, representing Vintage Flora. We do flowers and also chocolates. I'm sure your visitors will find them uh, exciting and, you know, so uh, tasteful. So, yes, I am Zara Rahim, representing Vintage Flora. And should you have any inquiries, requirements for flowers and chocolates for any of your occasions or corporate events, please do feel free to contact me. Thank you. Where is my cake? Your cake? Yes, where I, is my I, cake? I know a lady. Yes. And she's over there. Hello, uh, my name is Nandi Zucchelli. I'm representing Let Them Eat Cake. Uh, we can definitely help you out for your initial celebration when you open up your company, but we can also supply you whenever your staff have a birthday or when anybody has a birthday. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Nadia. Uh, we, we have tasted your cakes a lot of times. We know how. So my wife came to know that I have got too much money in the bank and she wants some jewelry and some corporate gifting. Do I have anybody? Hello, good evening everyone. My name is Grupa Sagar and I, I uh, sorry. <laughs> My name is Grupa Sagar and we have a company, Almajra Jewelers. We specialize in custom and bespoke jewelry and we are one of the leading manufacturers in Bahrain. And if you have any custom jewelry requirement, please do connect us. And we also do corporate gifting. So for all your corporate events, if you need any jewelry within the budget with uh, silver and gold, we do that. Thank you. Thank you. I think I have proved my point. What is BNI? What businessmen are doing here? And how we have a collaboration and co-creation. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Amit, for that wonderful session conducted. So that's a whole, the support you can give in terms of your business continuation, A to Z, everything is available in this room. We are looking for more partners to join this group. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the whole world is celebrating HR Day on 20th of May. So today, Bahrain captain celebrating HR Day and because we know the importance and significance how it is. Today we have a set of speakers to deliver a wonderful set of education to enlighten us for new HR dynamics trends. So to conduct this session, we have uh, two leaders who are constantly engaging with human resource. So let me welcome Anish Dasroy and Tosin to take over the HR session today. Hello again, everyone. We are excited to have you all here today, and we're so happy to have a full room, especially on this amazing day of the International HR Day. So with me, I have Anish. He's going to say a few words. Yep. Go ahead, Anish. Um, thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for coming in here. And this is an International HR Day, which is celebrated on 20th of, 20th of May every year. We are celebrating it today. Now the purpose of inviting all the HR fraternity of Bahrain to this forum is multifold. I have been sitting in the HR desk that you are sitting today, some time back. I know the challenges that you face on your employee life cycle every day. Now this is a forum which gives you the opportunity to collaborate and co-create as Mr. Amit has already said or our leadership has already said. So this is a forum where you get to see everything in one room. And our purpose was to showcase that, that this is a forum where all your HR requirements, day-to-day -day employee life cycle requirements, you get to get fulfilled. Now, uh, International HR Day has got, uh, this year, 2024, are based on the theme, which is called HR Shaping the New Future. And this is based on uh, sub-themes, which are ethical use of technology and AI, future workplaces, people leadership, and continued innovation in skills and education. Now what we wanted to uh, do here today is to invite some speakers 
we'll touch upon some of these topics uh, and also to focus on the collaboration and co-creation that we do on a, on a daily basis in this BNI forum. So over to Tosin. Thank you, Amit. Now, here's a fun fact before we go on. The International HR Day was established by the European Association for People Management, EAPM, to recognize and celebrate the contributions of HR professionals globally. And as, Amit, as um, Anish said, it's celebrated on May 20th every year. The first one was celebrated on the 20th, May 20th of 2019. So it's still a relatively new celebration, but definitely one that we want to continue to celebrate. There's a quote that I like by Henry Ford, which says that coming together is a beginning, keeping together is progress, working together is success. And this encapsulates what we're doing today in terms of celebrating collaboration and co-creation. And so with that, I'm going to introduce our first speaker. Our first speaker is Rami Moha. She is an Equality Assurance Manager at BIBF with decades of experience in the education sector. She directs quality policies, educates staff and students, and has expertise in education management, project management, and business development. She has worked with major organizations like Dubai Airport, Gulf Air, and Emirates. Please welcome Rami Mokha. Thank you, thank you, Tusan, and thank you, BNI, for giving BIBF this opportunity. I represent BIBF as the Quality Assurance Manager of BIBF, and uh, who doesn't know BIBF in Bahrain? Of course, it's the Bahrain Institute for Banking and Finance. Uh, just a small intro for BIBF. Uh, BIBF was started in 1981 as the training arm for the, uh, for the finance and uh, accounting sector in Bahrain, and we were the training arm, and we are now under the CBB. Uh, you know. Bahrain Institution for Banking and Finance has almost 200,000 students that have graduated from our institution and many more. As uh, just an intro to you that Bahrain Institute does not only serve the finance sector, it also serves other courses such as soft skills courses and uh, professional courses such as CIPD, CMI, and CIM. A CIPD is the main professional qualification that covers the human resource courses, and these are international qualifications that are offered uh, through the IBM. And this is our board of directors. Uh, Mr. Khalid, His Excellency Khalid Ibrahim Hamedan has just joined in February. We have his, uh, his Excellency. So under the umbrella of these board members who are the directors and directing uh, bodies of all the qualifications that are offered at the BIBF. As I mentioned, BIBF is, does not offer only the finance uh, or financial sector. Uh, over the years and over the decades, we have started offering accounting, digital, uh, digitalization, and uh, project management courses, insurance courses, and of course, uh, the uh, Islamic finance courses as well. Uh, just a heads up to everyone, like I said, that we do not only offer and we do not only support the financial department, we offer other courses for new uh, SMEs. If you have your staff who would like to take any courses, such as short courses to enhance your skills in any kind of public speaking or any kind of soft skills, we are open for that. We customize courses for you. It could be a three-day course, two-day course to enhance your staff's skills. Now, as it's an HR day, I would like to just inform you that we are going to be having a, uh, a master class that will take place in June, on 25th and 26th of June. It's a, a master class on the, on the culture of workplace and well-being. BIBF 
not only focuses on uh, just training, VIBF also develops professionals. Uh, VIBF is basically enhances the skills of the staffing, enhance and the HR. So the HR of BIBF itself also is one of the asset of BIBF, which encourages its employees and its staff to uh, enhance and develop their futures. So this course is offered as a master class, which we uh, are offering an early bird registration for anyone who is interested. And of course, if you have a corporate, we can give you a corporate rate for a group of over five to six uh, per persons who would like to join us. So uh, please feel free to uh, check out our website, bibf.com, uh, and we are happy to serve you anytime, uh, in any place. We also conduct uh, courses outside Bahrain at our campus. We reach, we reach out to you in Saudi Arabia, we go to uh, Dubai or anywhere that you would like to take courses for your staff, please feel free to contact us. Thank you again, BNI, and have a happy HR day. Thank you so much, Rami. As you can see, BIB have, has, has a lot to offer, so thank you so much for a great presentation. Before we go on to our next speaker, I know some of our visitors are wondering, when do I get to share who I am? Well, we've made that very easy for you. I'm going to ask Zahra, our lead host, um, our lead host guest host, to come and um, introduce some of our guests. Thank you, Tosin. It is imperative to extend our acknowledgement to the visitors present with us today. In accordance with the itinerary, our guests will be announced periodically. I hereby request each respective visitor to stand up when their name is called. Mr. Nabil Dean from Koheje Jewelry. Ms. Zehra Ahmed, Z Global. <laughs> Ms. Samreen Khan, Onyx Rotana Hotel. <laughs> Ms. Ankita Manav from Paytabs. Uh, Ms. Uh, Mr. Judith Pereira, Hassan Ibrahim Bakmal and Sons Company. Mr. Vineet Narendran Media Solutions. Mr. Akram Haj at Corn Gulf Private Notary. Ms. Remya Vijish Aero Express. Mr. Deepak Agrahar CFS Express. Ms. Sarmishta Day, Indian Ladies Association. And since Ms. Zehra Ahmed was not here when I announced her name, Ms. Zehra Ahmed from Z Global. Thank you very much. Over to you, Tosin. Awesome. And welcome again, dear visitors. It's great to have you here. We'll be hearing more about our remaining visitors as we go on. Now, the role of HR has evolved significantly with the advent of technology. Would you agree? Yes, yes. yes it has. Modern HR practices include using artificial intelligence and data analytics to improve hiring processes, employee engagement, and performance management. So, we're going to hear from our next speaker, Sajin Hentry is a visionary technologist and a serial entrepreneur. As managing director of Cisco Technologies and co-founder of Indolytics and ShopSpot, he has revolutionized AI, IoT, and e-commerce. His roles in education technology and community leadership 
including VP of BNI, showcase, I should say, including previous VP of BNI, showcases his commitment to innovation and development. Over to you, Sajin. Good evening, BNI referral partners and my dear extinguished guests who have joined today to celebrate the International HR Day with the BNI captain. Uh, I would like to introduce myself. I am Sajin Henry, Managing Director of a technology company called Cisco Technology. We have established in the country in 2015. We are dealing with few services. Uh, I would like to, Maria, please help me to change the slides. Yes, we are 30 plus software professionals working on different technology industries into AI, IoT, blockchain, custom software development, mobile development, and other futurist technologies like virtual reality, augmented reality, mixed reality, and hologram solutions. So few of the services that I have named uh, we are also into UI UX consulting, we are into DevOps consultation, we are also into AR, VR, MR development. Today, I'm going to talk about, I got five minutes from the leadership team to talk about chat GPT and how chat GPT is going to help the HR industry. Now, quick question, let us make this session five minutes very interactive. I'm going to ask you one question. How many of you have downloaded the chat GPT from OpenAI? Wow. OK, OK, I can see, I can see 40, 50 percentage. Now, remaining 50 percentage people who are here today, who are from the HR background, is going to learn a few tips and tricks of OpenAI developed chat GPT. Now, anybody in this audience which is the latest chat GPT model which is released last month. Yes, GPT 4.0. So what is chat GPT? Previous slide. Chat GPT is an AI program made by a company in US called OpenAI that can understand and generate text like a human. It's as simple as that. It can answer any questions, and it can help with writing and chat with you, and it's a trained AI model. So whatever inputs that you are asking, the AI is getting better day by day. So they have created an AI artificial integrated model, which is ChatGPT 4.0, which can also do the comparisons of attachments, data analysis, and so on. So we're going to do a hands-on to these modules, and I hope you will be enjoying the session. Now, next slide. So how ChatGPT will transform HR operations? Have you, I mean, I can see there are 15, 20 HR professionals that have joined in today's session. How many of you have used ChatGPT? HR professionals. Yeah? So. Have you ever tried any of these use cases? Yes? Have you used GPT-4.0 to utilize these use cases? Are you interested to have a look how that's going to work out, which will revolutionize and help on your day-to-day -day operations? So you can see there are, I have uh, made this module. I mean, today I got the information from the LT team. I should take something on the HR slide. So there are six use cases which I have mentioned here. There are many use cases available with ChatGPT, which we can able to consult your organization as a consultancy company, Cisco can help you. Now, candidate screening, employee onboarding, training and development, employee assistance, performance management, employee engagement, and HR 
data analytics. These are the few use cases which I am going to showcase, but let's see how we can do it on a case-to-case -case basis. Next slide. Now, how do we download chat GPT or how do we log into chat GPT? So 50% of the audience know how to log into chat GPT. So if you don't know, you just need to go to www.chatgpt.com and there is an official app developed by OpenAI where there are many GPTs apps available in the App Store and Play Store, but you need to go to the authorized company, which is OpenAI, and you have to download the chat GPT, which is an officially launched by OpenAI. And which are the other chat GPTs, or sorry, which are the other AI models that is available from the other companies? Do you know any other AI models which is available? Yes. Gemini, Bird, yes. And do you heard about Meta AI? Yes. So Facebook is Facebook has already launched. It is on a beta mode. Now you can create posts, you can create videos, you can create content by just creating a simple prompt in Facebook, which is called Meta AI, which is coming and launching soon in the next quarter. Now let's go to the chatgpt.com. I'm going to do a hands-on session. Now I'm going to show you how these prompts are really work for the HR industry. Go to Google. I need, yeah, I need Arti's help. So this is the chat GPT screen. If any of you don't know how it looks like, it's a very simple web-based portal. And it have a browser screen like a Google Chrome. And it have a small screen on the bottom where you can ask your queries, ask your uh, questions. We called in technology language called prompt. What is it? Prompt. So ChatGPT listens to you by asking. You can ask questions to ChatGPT, which is called chat GPT prompts. Now, I created an API, which is in technology language. Chat GPT communicates with another platform where I have integrated using an open AI model, which you can see on the top. Chat GPT prompt templates by keyword. This is an API which we integrated directly into the chat GPT model. Now, I'm going to use one prompt questionnaire. Can you click on the category? Uh, go to professionals. Uh, choose a subcategory. Now, human resources, yes. Now, select a template. Now, don't click anything. Now, I have created four chat GPT prompt for you to understand how it works. So click on a questionnaire, which is interview question generator. Click on it. Now, I want someone to help me. Yes. Can you name your company? Grant Thornton, yes, okay, Grant Thornton, sir, yes. So type Grant Thornton. Now, which job role you want to create uh, the GPT prompt for? Do you have any upcoming job role? Can you please name? Data analysis. Data, data analyst. Yes. So data analyst. So what you need to do, you are creating a job description for a company, Grant Thornton, and the job role is data analyst. Can you execute the template, Arti? Now, what happened here is it created a prompt, which is scroll on the top. You are an HR manager, generate an, so this is an interview question that need to be asked to a data analyst when they approach your company. So you can create any type of questionnaires, any type of language, any type of uh, prompt by using chat. So it, it quickly pull out all the data analyst questionnaire for the HR executive to question at the day time of the event. Now let's go to the another uh, pullout. Can you go to uh, templates, Arti, on the left here, on the this side? Yeah, now let's ask another question. Go to the templates. Now, employee development plan. Now, I need Yes, sir. Your company name? Uh, AFS, Arab Financial Services. AFS. Okay. How's Lynn doing? Very good. Okay. So, Arab Financial Service. So, which job role 
you're gonna you wanna create an employee development plan. Uh, let's say for the acquiring department. The acquiring. Acquiring department. So okay, the merchant acquiring department, correct? So merchant acquiring department. So it's gonna create an employee development plan. So it created a set of prompt, and here you go. The entire employee development plan for AFS is in your screen. So this is, there are many use cases that you can create your prompt. All you need to do is how to create prompt. So there, is a, there, is a, there are a lot of use cases, websites that you can create and learn prompt how ChatGPT can respond. Now I'm gonna use ChatGPT 4.0, the latest tool which allow used to analysis data, analysis CVs, and give you a comprehensive information, which is called GPT-40. Now let's see how that's gonna work out. So you can see here, there is an attachment icon. So basically this model will only be visible for GPT-40, not the traditional GPT um, models. So click on that attachment. Now what I'm gonna do here is upload from computer, Go to downloads, yeah. So I have two CVs, Bindu Kandaraj, an HR officer, and Harish Anu Saravana. So can you upload that two CVs? Click on it. Yeah, uh, open, open. No, no, yeah, click on Bindu, open it. And can you attach one more CV? Upload. Harish, okay. Now, I want Arthi to write a prompt, create a comparisons between two CVs. So let's see what ChatGPT is gonna do. Yeah. Okay, so Bindu Kandaraj. It's created the entire professional summary So you don't need to really look into the CVs. It creates the entire executive summary by reading the PDF. Now let's do create a demographics. Can you write a prompt? Create a demographics between the two CVs. So let's see what chat GPT do. So it created the comparison between the two CVs. Isn't it great? Yeah? All credits to OpenAI. Now I'm gonna do one more thing. So I need a one page image. So write another prompt. Create a one page demographic image. Okay, let's let's do one thing. Okay, now now look, look wait wait wait. Now I will show one more tool which you have never gone through the uh, Chat GPT 4.0, which is GPT models. Have you ever clicked on the left hand side button called Explore GPTs? Yes. Have you ever used the GPTs which has already developed by different companies? How many of you using Canva? Wow. Do you know, you don't need to go to Canva and create your own videos. You just need to open Canva from the Explore GPTs, click on it. Yeah, click on it. You clicked? Okay, it's already open. Okay, so here, scroll down. There are a lot of featured productivity tools created by different vendors where you can utilize it. Now I'm gonna show you, click on whimsical diagrams. Yeah, so I'm gonna use uh, to create a flow chart uh, for your organization. So any company who have not created your organizational structure. Any, everybody have an organizational structure here? So let's ask Jacob. No, I don't know. So let's create an organizational structure for the car service, auto service company. Can you 
click on start chat. Now, can you write? Create an organizational structure for automotive services company. Let's see. So it's generating the flow chart. Can you allow? So it's, it's via API, it is talking to the flow diagram. Here you go, Jacob. It's ready. So your org structure using chat GPT is ready. It have all the required managers, employees, which is connected, and you can edit using the whimsical diagram, which is another tool, creates uh, logical and flow diagrams. Now, can you go back to my slide, which is PDF? So I will take uh, two more minutes. Next slide. Next slide. OK. So any of you in this? Podium who have not downloaded the chat GPT models, which is a fantastic application. You don't need to go to a browser. You just need to download this app. So I have downloaded this app. Can you see this? So it's a similar screen, but there is a, an amazing tool inside. I don't know how many of you have used that tool. There is a small visual icon here on the, on the complete right hand side. You click on it. It will turn into a AI model, which will act like a human, and you can ask anything to him. Let's ask, what do you mean by B and I? D and I can stand for different things depending on the context. Commonly, it refers to Documento Nacional de Identidad. OK, so it doesn't ask. OK, let's, let's ask one more time. It's a D and I. Okay, let's ask one more time. What is business? Okay, it's loading. So it's a small interface. What is Business Network International? Business Network International, BNI, is a global networking organization designed to help businesses generate referrals and grow through a structured, supportive environment. Members meet regularly to share leads and referrals, and the organization emphasizes building long-term relationships. That's the power of this small app. You can upload images, you can upload documents, and you can do all these comparisons, analysis, and you can take a photo, and it can, uh, you can ask the chat GPT, what is that picture all about? It will give you answers in less than one second. Now, next slide. I'm going to... Now... All the HR members who are sitting here, I created a small GPT cheat sheet for you guys. If you scan this QR code, what you're gonna get is a list of prompt, around 25 to 30 prompts, which will be helpful for your day-to-day -day life. This, this GPT cheat sheet will allow you to train you on a day-to-day -day basis and it will give you a different workflow model that you can save your time in your organization. Are we done? So, next slide. So it's listening to my conversation. Now, Cisco would like to also, see it's, it's listening to my conversation, I need to stop it. Okay. Yeah. So, my last two slides, Cisco is an agency which also sells software. Great HR is an award-winning software which we are promoting GCC market. We have implemented more than 30 plus com companies. We have around four to five companies in uh, BNI Captain who have already implemented. And these are the one-stop shop ecosystem that Great HR provides. It have a recruit management, they have a core HR module, they have leave and attendance management, payroll, performance management, business exclaims, and onboarding and recruitment management. It also comes with a mobile app where you can use it for your organization. 
So thank you, thank you leadership team, thank you everyone for this wonderful opportunity and I wish you all a great success and a great evening. Thank you. Wow, that was amazing. Thank you so much, Sajin. I think I could listen to you all day and just spend the whole hour just listening to you. So we're probably going to have to have another session, a workshop, a longer time, so we can learn more about what we can do with ChatGPT. And with that, I'd like to call again Zara. Please come back and let's hear more about our other guests. Thank you, Tosin. Please allow me to proceed with the announcement of additional visitors I kindly request each respective visitor to stand up when their name is called. Mr. Derek Lemos from Adrenaline Events. <laughs> Apekshit Pednekar also from Adrenaline Events. <laughs> Ms. Chris Santiago, Ms. Holding. <laughs> Swastik Chaudhari, Watercolor Interiors, Mr. Swastik. Ms. Olga Sturk, business coach. Ms. Uh, Harshin Chadda and Ms. Natasha, also from Career Maker. Mr. Umesh from Boston IT. Mr. Sanjay Chedayan from Aqua Relocations. Mr. Mohammed Nader from Arab Financial Services. Mr. Mohammed Shihabuddin, Solidarity Bahrain. And finally, Dr. Tejender Kaur Sarna from India, Indian Ladies Association. Thank you. Over to you, Tosin. Thank you very much. And again, welcome to our guests. We can see we have a very diverse group here. So thank you again all for coming. Well. I forgot something, so I got to go back. As you can see, I'm wearing one hat. But our HR professionals wear many hats. They can be recruiters, trainers, counselors, mediators, strategists, best friend, a psychologist, a motivator, a peacemaker, a game changer, good influencer, and sometimes even event planners, all rolled up into one. That's amazing. We need to recognize and applaud our HR professionals. So next up, we have two amazing speakers. I'll introduce them. Damsi Dudija. Sorry? Dudija has been with Grant Thornton since 2019. She brings over 14 years of finance experience across various industries. Her expertise includes finance, transformation, financial planning, cash flow forecasting, risk management, and compliance. She holds multiple finance certification and has worked in major telecom financial services and construction contracting companies in Bahrain. And the second speaker who will be presenting along with her is Shelly Shama. Did I say that right? Okay. She's a human capitalist consultant also with Grant Thornton since March 2024 and has over six years of experience in HR planning, talent acquis acquisition, employer branding, and recruitment marketing. She specializes in HR planning, recruitment, consulting across India and the USA. She also holds an MBA in HR and marketing. Please join me in welcoming both of them to the stage. Thank you for the introduction. Good evening, everyone. OK, so here, OK, I'll try not to be more formal. What we are trying to show you here is the new HR paradigm, the technology, diversity, and the well-being of the employees. See, in the current business landscape, things are changing in a very fast pace. 
According to that, the role of HR demands a lot more with time. As Doris, uh, right? Toshi. As Toshi mentioned, there are many hats an HR individual wears, and that's true. They, they are sometimes playing the role of a recruiter or a trainer, event planner, and a lot more. Now, we are just going to touch upon that when we go through our slides, starting with just uh, one major aspect in current market is the ESG and the role of HR in that. So ESG is basically uh, called as sustainability. In the business context, the products, the services a company provides shows uh, how they can integrate themselves to the ESG through their operations. They can encourage their employees, they can encourage their stakeholders to uh, take the eco-friendly measures and principles like reduce, reuse, contribute and conserve the environment. But where the majorly HR roles comes in, HR is the key driver for the diversity, equality, and inclusion in an organization. They are the ones who cares for the mental health and well-being of an employee. They are the one who can encourage in an organization for the work-life balance, for the equality in the gender pay. There, should be, there is a huge gap in the gender pay in the current market scenario. Everyone is aware of that to reduce that gap, to mitigate those kind of areas, HR is the one who is holding, uh, holding the role of doing all this, uh, doing all this and contributing towards the company. No, just uh, the previous slide. Yeah. So uh, the CBB and uh, Baron Boards have already issued the voluntary ANSG guidelines. Uh, for the license uh, for the listed companies, financial companies, as well as the insurance firms. Even uh, in Jaz Bahrain, which is an NGO, they have collaborated with Dr. Earth to uh, take certain environment related initiatives across Bahrain. So you can connect with Grant Thornton if you would like to more about if you if you would like to know more about the Jaz Bahrain or you want to contribute towards that. Uh, next, please. Now, here we are just going to show you the couple of key trends in the market. The key thing, as uh, Sajid mentioned in the previous presentation, is the digital transformation. As per the survey from PwC, 72% of the companies prefer to have analytics, uh, analytics, sorry, HR analytics to improve their workforce planning. 80% of the HR leaders across the world believe that employee experience is very important for an organization to grow. 70% of the employees post pandemic, of course, they believe the remote or hybrid working environment is more suitable for them. And the continuous learning is 94% of the employees, they believe that they would prefer to stay with an organization which will help them with their career path, with their career development and succession. I'd like to mention the top five skills what line managers would want to see, in, see developed. From a survey by um, Tamkeen in the skill set, I would like to mention that 86% of line managers would want to see people coming from integrity in the workforce. 81% of, of the line managers would be looking for people who has worked in a collaborative workforce. And 60% of the line managers would want to see people coming from flexibility environment or people who are very agile in, in terms of active learning, ways to enhance their task on the job. Now 41% focuses on critical thinking and 38% in the creativity and innovation. Time management also plays a crucial role, however, given the time when 24% of line manager would see that time management is also one of the skills they would want to de develop. Next slide. Now, this is uh, one of the reports from Tamkeen Skill, 
which highlights which provides you the fact that how workforce plan is segmented and the areas that we can focus on. So you might see that in the manufacturing sector, there are the number of female representation is quite lesser. And this is some, one of the area which one can focus on. And how can we do that? Yeah, can you move the next slide? How can we do that? So we, we Grant Thornton, would want to help you think ahead so that you are never behind. I would like to ask Tamsi to take it ahead. See, at Grant Thornton, we always believe in helping you with all your needs. Wherever, whatever you need, we can help you with. Human capital solution is something that we would like to help you with. What we, what we believe, and this is certain reports, if you are outsourcing your human capital solution, this can give you the access to the expertise of tools, of knowledge, of resources. It can save your cost. And in current scenario, either you want to scale up your business, you want to scale down your business, we can help you. Like today's theme is like collaboration and co-creation. So we can, you can collaborate with Grant Thornton and we can help you with all your human capital needs. Thank you. Thank you very much for the wonderful presentation, Damsey and Shaley. Now, do we have more guests, Zara? Yes, we do. Yes, we Please, do, let's Tosin. hear about them. Over to you. Thank you, Tosin. Before I proceed to announce the final list of names, I would like to take this moment to express gratitude to all our esteemed guests and visitors for gracing us with their presence. Dear visitor, Please rise when your name is called. Mr. Ipe Matthew from Al Hilal Hospitals, Mr. Sankat Srivastav Rayank Technology, Ms. Shraddha Mehra Interior Design, Mr. Mohammed Amal Container Freight Station, Mr. Sunil John from Zaydan Construction, Mr. Sean George from Gracia Advertising. Mr. Sachin Ramachandran, IPF Consulting. Mr. Sunil Sridhar, First Freight. Ms. Adrian Manalo, Soho Homes, Bahrain. Ms. Crystal Mapili, Irwin Erno Design Studio. Ms. Janeline Respes from Win Air Travels. Ms. Ruth Simuyemba. Did I get it right? Ms. Ruth Simuyemba, HR Consultant. Ms. Nusrat Khan from Jafair Juniors. Mr. John Matthew Ibrahim Kekanu, and finally, Faisal Al Asfur from Al Moed. Thank you very much. Back to you, Tosin. With that, I want to say another big thank you to all our guests for coming. Really appreciate you taking the time to be with us today. Now, I am excited to introduce our final speaker. I think I did see him. There he is. Okay. Our final speaker for this session is Dr. Yamo Kotelain. He is the Chief Strategist Officer at Tamkin with over seven years of experience. He previously served as Chief Economist at Bahrain Economic Development Board and the National Commercial Bank. Yam Dr. Yamo holds degrees from Harvard University, University of Cambridge, and University of Oxford. He's a public speaker and gives presentations in many events globally. With that, thank you so much, Dr. Yarmo. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope you don't mind if I stand here. I missed my lunch, so I want to have something to hold on to when the blood sugar plummets. <coughs> I, uh, you can probably tell from the picture or from looking at me I have quite a bit more than seven years of experience. Um, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing at this point. I don't have any slides to show you. I was, I was given a very broad topic of continuous innovation in skills and education. 
and I tried to come up with uh, a way of, of making it sound simple and hopefully making it relatively brief. And uh, what I decided to do is spend uh, a moment on four trends that I think will fundamentally, I will, I'm tempted to say completely, reshape the way we learn uh, and the way we think of human capital during our lifetimes. Most of these things are global trends. Some of them are more region specific. Uh, but, but I think these are all things that will, will force us to throw away most of our traditional assumptions and attitudes in uh, this uh, space during our, our life, lifetimes. Now, the first trend, I think, will mean that <clears throat> the range of skills that we will expect people to come to work with will continue to expand uh, quite dramatically. Not only will it continue to expand, it will keep recycling. Skills will get, skills and knowledge will get outdated faster than ever before, and, and, and new skills will have to be required, have to be acquired on an ongoing basis in new ways. And, and more and more of these skills will, will no longer be sector specific in the way that we think of uh, skills to. Uh, and the reason for this is that I think the pace of economic change that has made the world such an uncertain place compared to what it was, let's say, 20 years ago, this pace is accelerating. And I, I think in many ways we are past the point of no return. Now, Colleagues have spoken about technology. I think the pace of technological change, not only is it transformative, it is becoming faster and less predictable than before. But at the same time, we have many other megatrends coming together. We all hear about the fragmentation or deglobalization of the world. Political risk is presenting itself in new ways. Of course, climate change, people used to talk about climate change and some people would shake their heads in response. I think increasingly fewer and fewer people are shaking their heads because climate change is, is with us. But also, increasingly, the global demographic transition. We maybe don't see it today or not so clearly where we are, but the world is very rapidly growing older. And what all of this means is that there will be a growing premium on people who can understand risks and their implications, who can mitigate risks, who can think ahead, understand different scenarios, what those might mean for companies, sectors, economies. And increasingly, people who do not have these skills available in their organizations will probably sooner or later run into an existential crisis. The other big cluster of trends that is, is changing things is, has to do with the way we are learning. Uh, and I think that this is an, an area where change has been less continuous, even though we see our children playing with, with uh, laptops and mobile phones uh, nonstop. But I think this is an area where there is a lot of legacy infrastructure and a lot of legacy attitudes that will have to change sooner or later. I mean, let's think of something like universities. This is a business model that has not fundamentally changed in more than a thousand years. Is it an appropriate model for the 21st century? No. Is it value for money? Highly debatable. But still, what parent 
would not want their child to go to university and have that diploma to frame and put on the, on the wall. Uh, <clears throat> so I think the reality in, in this space is that we are moving away from this idea of acquiring formal credentials through discrete programs, which we do every couple of years, and more and more towards a model where we pick and choose skills in bite-sized pieces. And we have to do so on an ongoing basis, and we will increasingly have to be assessed for our ability to continue to do so. And, and, and I think the critical question in this space is really how quickly will these attitudes, will the expectations of the parents and the, and the uh, plans of, of university presidents change to adapt to these new realities? We know eventually they will because they have to. The third big cluster of trends has to do with the way business is done in this part of the world. Now, we all, all, we've all heard about the big visions of the, of the Gulf governments. We've heard, of, talk, heard about economic diversification for decades. But I think that this time, it, it really is happening. And, and what this means is that the kinds of businesses that thrived in the past in the Gulf are not going to be the kinds of businesses that will thrive in the future. And, and the biggest change that I see happening already is traditional businesses were margin seekers. Governments were handing out big projects. Uh, the population was going up. The government was spending more money. So people found an area where they can make a margin and put a sign on the door and started collecting uh, cash. The problem with this model from the human capital perspective is that it was very static. It tended to view human capital as a cost to be managed rather than an asset that you should uh, invest in. And we are already seeing this reality crumbling before our eyes. Look at, look at sectors such as trade. This is being disrupted by e-commerce. We all use Talaba to get our, our restaurant meals instead of, of going to restaurants. The real estate sector is being profoundly disrupted. And this process will accelerate further. What this region has recognized it has to transition to is a paradigm of productive businesses, businesses that produce things instead of buying and selling things, and businesses that create value, leverage technology, and are driven by productivity. And this is what economic diversification in the Gulf will be all about. And for these kinds of businesses to grow and thrive, they need to recognize human capital as an asset and invest in that human capital. Because if they don't, somebody else will. And especially in a world where, believe it or not, human capital is starting to become uh, scarcer. <clears throat> Finally, We've heard a lot about technology. We hear every day about AI, etc. I think the way we use technology is changing. And, and I fear that today, most people don't quite understand what that means. Uh, I'm not pretending to understand, pretending to uh, claim that I fully understand what it means. But I think the reality is these transformative technologies, generative AI, quantum computing, etc., these are changing everything. And, and the choice that people face is do they passively adapt to this, right? They have a problem, they ask chat GPT and they copy the answer. Or do they proactively engage? 
Do they use this new technology as a tool that enables them to do more than ever before? Because these new technologies are tools that allow people to do much more than ever before. So instead of waiting for technology to replace human hands and minds, how can we use technology to empower human uh, hands and minds as uh, uh, never uh, before? So how do we turn disruptive technology from an enemy to a partner. This is not something that will, have to ha will happen by itself. It will require proactive engagement on the part of those people who want to turn this disruption into an opportunity. So fundamentally, we are looking at incessant disruptive change, which in some ways is very exciting and interesting. I know it can be unsettling, but I think for businesses, for individuals, for economies in the Gulf region, it is an unprecedented opportunity. When we look at what propels economies forward, globally. More than anything else, it is productivity. Productivity is what determines living standards in the long run, nothing else. And when we look at where productivity comes from, of course, there are many things that productivity can come from, but international data suggests that one of the two most important drivers, accounting for about 40% of the total, is human capital and skills. So this is an area that people need to be investing in. And the final bit of uh, relevant information here, there is a lot of room for improvement. I recently looked at data for one of the neighbor neighboring Gulf economies estimating productivity over the past uh, 20 years. And the KGAR the average annual rate of change was minus 2.9%. So every year, value was being lost because instead of working better, working more smartly, using resources more efficiently, people were just bringing in more workers and putting in more glass and concrete. It is not, growth, sustainable growth is not about pushing in more inputs to get more value. It is about using those inputs more smartly and what better input than human capital because as they say, human ingenuity is the one productive force that does not run into the law of diminishing returns. Thank you very much. Tosin, let me introduce Tosin. There were two, two visitors I actually missed, so I have to announce their names. Mr. Rajesh Sridharan from Arabian Neon, are you here? <laughs> and also Mr. Sayed Zuhair from Jaws Group. That's it, Tosin, over to you. Thank you, Zahra. And I just want to say a big thank you to Dr. Yarmo for the amazing, very informative session on the different trends that we need to be aware of as our world keeps changing. So we've got to keep abreast rather than falling behind. So thank you so much for that presentation. And so our theme has been collaboration and co-creation. And we've seen that we cannot do without HR. This is like a great recipe. It's the blend of diverse ingredients, our unique talents and perspectives that creates something extraordinary. So when we collaborate, we build bridges, not walls. We turn challenges into opportunities and ideas into innovation. With that, I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone. This ends our session of <laughs> presenters. And I would like to pass it on to our national director for the awards presentation. Hello, hello. Yeah. 
Thank you, thank you. Uh, a very warm round of applause for all the presenters. Thank you so much. And that, thank you, doctor, uh, for bringing in the topic of disruptions. I just want to uh, tell you one, uh, two sentences on that. When you talk about disruptions, when one side technology is taking, uh, you know, in th bringing talabats and all the disruptive te technologies into this world, BNI is changing the way the world is doing business. BNI is reusing these real estates over here. When, when people are ordering coffees from, uh, from the shop online, BNI is conducting face-to-face -face coffee meetings in the coffee shop. Isn't that wonderful that we are actually re-engaging all these real estates and using the human capital. Even if you bring AI, BNI is trying to use that AI into a system of all, integrating the system of all the businesses together and where businesses can thrive and can prosper into the world. And the BNI is trying to make the world shrink into a small place. The ecosystem that we are trying to bring through BNI in this, in this country and we are trying to create the world has never seen the way the world has done business previously. So ladies and gentlemen, I, well, uh, we welcome this, all the technological innovations into this world. We have to bring in BNI in Bahrain. And that's where we would like to uh, take to the next level of our engagement. I would uh, give it to our Vice President. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Arun. Well, dear ladies and gentlemen, well, a little bit about our BNI chapter Bahrain. Our chapter today it consists of 52 strong members, and we are looking to grow the group to 75 members, the Bahrain captain. And uh, today we have 55 guests with us in this room. The policy announcement. The policy announcement for this week is in Bahrain, BNI, only one person from one professional category or classification is permitted to join BNI chapter. Members are requested to represent their primary occupations and not their part-time occupations. Now we are looking to pass referrals to people from the following business categories. These categories which are in red color, it's open in the BNI captain Bahrain, whoever willing to be a member of BNI captain the doors are open to cover those categories. With that, let me hand over the control back to our Secretary Treasurer Clayton. Good evening, all, once again. Uh, this time, uh, my, my, uh, my report is going to be f flight attendant style, and my crew, Ms. Maria D'Souza, will be taking over. Over to you, Maria. On behalf of our captain and crew, thank you for choosing BNI with nonstop service in helping you grow your business. Please direct your attention to the flight attendant in front of the cabin. List of members who need to renew their subscription should do so before end of May. Kindly contact the Secretary Treasurer for further details. To all our special guests on today's flight, we want to take a special moment to thank you for taking the time out from your busy schedule. If you enjoyed your experience in seeing how powerful benefits of referral marketing can help your business, applying for membership in BNI is as easy as one. All prospect members must be sponsored. Two, complete your membership application. Three, submit the application to membership committee. Membership fees are BD 492 for one year with one-time registration fee, BD 95, or take two years membership and avail 25% discount at BD 833. Within a week of applicable, you'll be notified by the membership team, and upon acceptance, you will block out your competition. Towards end of this flight, our captain will direct the guests through visitor orientation to answer any of your questions. Please enjoy the flight and thank you for choosing the game.
Thank you, Maria. That was really nice and interesting. Over to you, Vice President. Thank you very much, Clayton and Maria, for taking us through that wonderful ride in the BNI flight. Well, uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, uh, it gives me great pleasure to inform our scorecard. The BNI is not just passing referrals. We also monitor what we're doing in terms of numbers. So today, BNI total transacted referrals or the business during last almost 11 months, we are just crossing 6 million USD. 6 million USD worth of transactions have passed among the members and businesses have finalized. Well, with that brings to the seat value, the each seat value of the BNI Captain Bahrain, it's 110,000 USD. So that's the value of the seat of BNI Captain, whoever wants to grab that seat immediately. It's time to recognize it's customary that BNI uh, featured speakers bring the dome price, but we have dome price arranged by the BNI captain itself. So the recognition, let me go with recognition of the speakers today. So let me call upon our first, the presenter, Ms. Rami, to uh, join us here with us, and also the leadership team to join over there, and then, Ms. Damsey and Shaili from Grant Thornton. Please give a round of applause, please. And also, Dr. Yamo for the recognition. Please join there. Thank you very much, Ms. Rami, for joining with us and updating us on the latest trends. <laughs> Ms. Dempsey and Ms. Shiley from Grant Thornton. And please join uh, Tosin and Anish as well, the coordinators who conducted the session. and Dr. Yamo, so bringing the disruptive trends for HR. Well, let's move to the, the second scorecard. So BNI Captain recognizes the business past in terms of number of referrals. So number of referrals passed within the chapter during last week. It is quite aggressive last week. There are a few front runners for number of referrals. Svetlana, Clayton, Subin. And finally, it's ended up with Amit. The most number of referrals, 14 referrals have passed within the chapter and those referrals maybe in future point of time will convert to a business. Please join here Amit and the number of one-to-ones. For the benefit of guests, the one-to-ones happening among the members to understand their businesses, to recognize what are the opportunities available. So number of one-to-ones done during the last week, there are few people. Khaid has done two, Mr. Vardarajan, Narayanan and finally the highest Subin. Subin has done four one-to-ones during last week. Please join us here with us today. With that, let me hand over the mic to our, our national director, Arun. Thank you, Chanaka. We now come to the most important part of the meeting, the passing of referrals and testimonials, where you will witness the PNI core value givers gain. This is actually a structured meeting that we uh, we have done a little differently uh, today because we conducted an event. 
but uh, this is something which we do regularly on our main part of the event. So referrals provide an opportunity to the members to pass the business to each other. So uh, may I start start with Amit? I have given a referral to Mr. Santosh Pal Krishnan for uh, two floors for BCCI uh, renovation, which is coming up. Uh, one to one Mr. with Mr. Narayanan Ganapati for uh, cloud fund crowd funding. Uh, some uh, referrals given to Clayton De Silva, Subin Oni Krishnan, uh, Kaidbai. Again, uh, Subin, Mr. Manoj Keshwan, Sayed Owen from Ecom. Again, Sayed Owen from Ecom. Uh, to some to Mr. Chanaka, Ashraf Qasim, uh, Optimum Fire and Safety, and so on. Thank you. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, so we have I have given a uh, few referrals. Uh, one to Mr. Anish Dasroy for the recruitment uh, opportunity with the wall plastics, and one is to Raghunath uh, Vadavai uh, for a new. Uh, software blockchain development project and um, thank you Clayton uh, for giving the new project referral we are working closely with the company and hope we can close it this week thank you uh, Arabian Neon thank you Clayton for the close business thank you Yokesh uh, thanks uh, for the uh, the printing works what you are given a couple of referrals I have referred to Manoj by Arabian Neon I have given to uh, Amit by also for the the Saudi business projects, and we have uh, our uh, Auto Bay, we, which we have been doing all the vehicles with them. Solidarity is one of our partner for all the insurance jobs. So basically, it's like all my suppliers, all my things is going to a BNI family, especially. And we have a lot of suppliers in Oman, BNI member, and then also in Dubai and Qatar. Thank you, BNI. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Mr. Amit, Clayton, and Subin. We started with one business, two business. Now it has become a partnership. So Solidarity has become their insurance partner. Thank you very much. We are doing continuous businesses. I have given two referrals during last week. I have given one to Naz to connect with one of the five-star hotels, and also Taranjit and Jennifer to connect with one of the construction company. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, just a small announcement, there, is a, there are two cars over here which is blocking the road, I believe. Uh, the car numbers are, uh, it's Mitsubishi uh, 577295. And the other one is uh, Toyota, uh, I think it's uh, Land Cruiser 46578. 465878. 465878 is yours. And uh, 577295, Mitsubishi. Thank you. Uh, I have given few re uh, few referrals to uh, people over here, but uh, anyways, um, you know, uh, because of a constraint of time, we 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 would like to hear from the visitors uh, your feedback. We have a couple of visitors who are BNI members who have come all the way from BNI uh, Mumbai. Uh, so I would like them to share their experiences, please. First of all, thanks Arun and thanks. I think Yogeshji has left for the day and. Um, Thank you very much, and this is pleasure being over here. And honestly speaking, the energy is quite phenomenal. Okay, for us, it's first time we are out and we are attending this meeting. Yes, we. I was continuously in touch with Arun for the each and everything, and the arrangement right from hotel till everything was taken care of very perfectly. Thank you very much. We love to be over here, and we would like to connect with all of you. Thank you. From BNI India. So thank you very much, Artie. And also, I took my son to NAS at Alchem, and thank you so much for the care. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Nabil Ali, and I'm from Koiji Jewelry. Uh, that really thanks uh, BNI and the captains for giving us the opportunity to be a part of uh, your event. Okay, uh, I have uh, throughout the session, throughout the event, we have learned like a lot of lot. I mean, dealing with so many of uh, businesses around here. So uh, mostly, I'm considering into uh, leadership training. That uh, I forgot her name, but she's dealing with that uh, as well. And as, of course, like solidarity, 
for the health insurance as well as for assets and items. We'll be looking into that, so I will be approaching you for in regards. I might take your contact inf information for that. And also the ERP software uh, for RapidCube. And uh, the lastly was the, the human resource, the one who are helping with the sourcing and uh, recruitment agencies and all that, yeah? So please, uh, uh, these four companies I'll be looking to get in touch uh, to get more details. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Talde, for calling us. And it was a great opportunity to meet so many entrepreneurs. It's like stepping into a room which where I have never been. And someday I think I'll be one among you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anybody else? Not working, so. Yeah, you're working, working. Okay. Uh, I'm here for the second time. It's been some time when I visited last time. It's always so encouraging and motivating to see people backing up and referring each other. And as ma'am said, one day I wish I could also be part of it. I'm just starting venturing into the profession that I am. I'm a lawyer. So I'm just taking on board uh, freelance work and uh, looking into, you know, providing policy, data privacy, and other new uh, nuanced areas of law which are shooting up. So hope to keep myself updated, as Sir said in his uh, speech. And I hope one day I can be a good member and a participant to this forum. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, good evening. This is Harshin Manchanda. I'm from Career Maker. We are an executive search and headhunting firm. So if, while this is an HR summit, this is the right place to speak about us. If you're looking for any executive search, any recruitment needs, any growing team needs, expansion within the country, across the GCC, and beyond, we can be your recruitment partners and support you in whatever levels of recruitment you're looking for. So you can reach out to us anytime. And thanks to BNI for having us over again. <laughs> so yes, I, good morning to everybody. And uh, uh, as uh, your national director said, I should come out of my shyness to talk to you all. Uh, as I came here as a freight forwarder, but Clayton said, a competition is not allowed. <laughs> so what can I do? There are, there are other chapters you can. Yes, yes, yes the only which, one I, chapter. which I'm interested when I, I saw him sitting right in front of me, in front of me talking about shipping. So I'll look for the, another chapter whereby I can share some of my expertise in taking care of your shipment. Or you're all most welcome to contact me anytime for your shipping related activities. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I think uh, again I would like to thank all of you for coming over here. Uh, so before closing this uh, meeting today, may I leave you with the final thought for this week. Uh, it's a very, very deep-rooted uh, sentence. If you set the vision right, you can create the reality. Uh, we had set the vision two years back to bring BNI to Bahrain after 39 years of BNI's journey into the world. And we have created today a reality. And that is why we are celebrating one year of BNI in this country. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, so nothing is complete except, uh, I mean, without taking the group photo. So we have to uh, stand as well. Where do you stand? Here, this side, this side. Our dear guest speakers, please, in the front. Speakers, ladies in the front, uh, Clayton, can we arrange some chairs?